Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So guys, I am being led to give you a moon box reading. Okay, yay! I love the moon box. You guys, I get really excited um, when I get ready to do the moon box because it is a lot of fun. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, the moon box, it's, it's just a box filled with tidbits that I've collected through the years, okay? I'm going to shake up the box and we're going to, I'm going to pull out some of the messages. We're going to go through them together. So just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? This reading may not be for all of you. And thank you everyone for joining me today. <laughs> It's always an exciting moment for me. I'm like a little kid out here, you guys. Oh my gosh. If I get to, you know, get um, get little treats out, out of this box, you know, I, I mean, look at all of this stuff. It's cool. Anyway, I, I'm super jazzed about the moon box reading. So thank you everyone um, for all of the likes, all of the subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much, you guys, for joining the Soul Tribe. Let's get into it, okay? So cover your ears. I'm going to shake up the box. Here we go. All right. I'm going to stand back. Pull some stuff out. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh, did you see that? Something wanted to hang on. Okay. Um... I feel like um, somebody may want to talk to you, okay? Um, but it's it's almost as if they're holding back, like they're very, very fearful, all right? Um, this is clearing some kind of energy out, so you could be ending something, leaving something behind. Oh, somebody is hanging on. This is This is that little fuzzy. You guys, this little fuzzy... Um, it used to be in a clothes pin, okay? It kind of gets, you know, it's all, it moves all over the box. But, um, oh, I just blew it away. Where is it? There it is. But now it's clinging on to something that is dead, right? It was, it was hanging on to this dude when I picked him up. This is something that's dead, okay? I, I feel like there's a masculine energy who just keeps hanging on, hanging on. There could be some kind of trauma bond between these two. This is a masculine and a karmic energy. Or it's the karmic that's trying to hang on to this masculine. Um, I feel like they're watching you, okay? Studying you, studying everything that you do. Watching you really close, trying to keep track of what you have going on in your life. You're in this divine feminine energy, right? bossed up, healed, working on your money, your finances. This is Empress energy here. Um, and it almost appears to me like you're holding a microphone. Like if somebody were to approach you and want to discuss things that happened to you in the past, you've got no problem speaking your mind. You could also be a public speaker. I'm seeing you in like the star energy, Empress energy, kind of like a high priestess here. Um, you could have your own platform somewhere uh, on the internet or maybe you're just uh, talking and telling your story on social media. But you've got a mic in your hand and you're ready to speak your mind. I'm, I'm getting the sense too that you can feel all eyes on you. I'm looking at this right here with all the eyes, right? All eyes on you and whatever it is that you're doing, what you're growing, and you're becoming very successful, very abundant. You could have your own business. It could be even an online business. I feel like um, your style has changed. You've upgraded in your life. And these people, both of them, have been studying this. Okay, they're not just watching you. Uh, they're, it's more like cyber stalking studying everything that you do what is this smash to pieces the i feel like somebody wanted to bring you down at one point but they can't they could have even been watching you um upgrade and improve in your life and transform your life since you've been heartbroken and betrayed so maybe people have been watching you heal and move on we don't fear massive change. We create it. You know what? Here's the thing. You're a trailblazer. That's what I feel. You're fearless out here. 
You've got fearless energy, especially when it comes to changing your life. All right. Um, as a matter of fact, you're doing something that these people have never witnessed before from anyone. Okay. Like you are creating a whole new life for yourself. Um, for some of you, if you're a public speaker and you're doing something intuitive, something spiritual, you could be a spiritual healer, a spiritual teacher. You've got this microphone in your hand. And I feel like you're creating change on a on a global scale especially if you're on the internet okay yeah now somebody wants to have some kind of meeting with you they want to talk to you but they have not had good intentions for you in the past okay yeah they're looking for a reason or not a reason well it says reason here the perfect reason to get together i feel like they're looking for an opportunity when is it going to be the right time right you could be like a um they could be watching you and knowing your work schedule you could be like a workaholic out here because you're really focused you're in boss energy running something or running the show okay um, making massive accomplice, accomplishments. Yeah, there's someone now who wants to come in. I feel like they've they shattered your heart to pieces before. Um, and they there's someone here, I feel like it's a karmic, who's had nothing but bad intentions for you. What is that noise outside? Holy cow. Oh. Okay, I had to look. I'm I'm in an I'm in my new home, so I'm not all, I'm not totally acquainted with all of the noises in the neighborhood. That was a street cleaner, so that could have something to do with your reading, though. Nothing is trivial. I feel like somebody wants to clear everything up with you. Somebody wants to heal things with you. Now they want to come in and meet with you and talk. Okay. Um, up until now, it looks like this person's lips are sewn shut. They, they've just been watching you, not speaking. This is somebody that you, that ha you haven't spoken a word to um, since they shattered your heart. Enough to share doesn't mean you have to. Okay, so the person that's coming towards you, they're seeing you in, your, in all of your glory, right? In your glow up, in your abundance, um, uh, your business or whatever you're doing. It's a big success, okay? And um, they may be looking at your pentacles, your rise. You may even think that this person is coming in just for your money, Okay, but um, hey, you've got plenty enough to share, but you don't have to share with anybody. Okay, I feel like whatever you've created, you've created on your own with a lot of like blood, sweat, and tears, right? A lot of hard work, perseverance, um, brains, right? It, this is a, it feels like a creative idea that's all your own. So, you know what, this is all yours. You don't have to share with anybody. And I feel like they want to share in this, in your glow up at your side. But you know what, they haven't done their own work. Yeah, going boldly. I feel like, yeah, because you know what, they know where you're headed in, in your future. Even if you don't see it, which I think you do, because you're walking in total confidence here. Making big boss bold moves, okay? They can see where your future is headed. I'm, I'm telling you, I, and with your confidence and your smarts and your skills, because you're very skilled at what you do, I'm telling you, um, you're headed for even greater success than what you're seeing now. Like, they know it. Even if you don't see it, they see it. What is this? And they discarded you. They, they tossed you aside like you were nothing, like you were a piece of garbage. They did. So this person heavily, heavily underestimated you. I'm feeling the Seven of Pentacles energy off of this and the Nine of Pentacles energy off of this. You flipped on this person. And now they want to come back in. They, they, want, to, they want to be at your side and take part and share in this beautiful future that you've built for yourself okay you're also a master manifester out here like you've got this really strong powerful energy collective 
if you know dinner is going to be successful, that takes away a lot of the stress. So this person, like I said, here's that success. Um, I feel like number one, I'm getting a couple of things off of this. They underestimated you. They thought that you had nothing. They saw you as a peasant who was always going to have an empty basket, right? Um, they saw you as somebody who didn't have enough to bring to the table. They didn't realize that you were going to be this successful, okay? Um, I'm also seeing this as them being stressed out because they have no idea how you feel after everything that they put you through. And this person wants to come back in now and meet with you um, and talk to you. They're already looking for the perfect opportunity to do that. Okay? But they don't know how you're going to feel about it because this person knows that um, they've truly wronged you here. Like it was a major betrayal. And it was very insulting, them making you feel like you weren't enough. You know, I feel like you look back on that now and you're like, wow, that was a really, that was, number one, that was really stupid to, for them to do, because look at where you are now, okay? But number two, you're, you're thinking, how insulting is that for them to even think I was unworthy in the first place? How could they have tossed me aside like garbage? You don't, you, people don't get to do that with another human being and not have any consequences. You know what I'm saying? Spreading the word. See, you're the one with the, uh, with the microphone in your hand. I feel like the things that you're saying on the internet or whatever you're putting out there, they're, you're making them look at themselves, okay? Um, you're making this person realize just how foolish they were in their decisions. And I feel like you're, you could even be exposing people for the things that they've done. You're make, you make people look at themselves, look at the things that they don't want to look at. Okay, so I'm really getting the sense that you're in this light worker energy. Okay, um, very intuitive, very tapped in to the energy of the collective and the energy of these people or this person who hurt you. Uh, I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons here about what you've been put through and about yourself. And in talking about your story, um, that's spreading the word, right? Everything that you've learned, how far you can go when you just focus on yourself and have faith and confidence when you're being spiritually led because I feel like you're a light worker. You're, you're, the things that you're picking up on intuitively are spot on. And I feel like you're resonating with so many people. People relate with you because there's so many people out there who have been through the same kind of heartache. And the same kind of just being dismissed, you know, that's what you were. You were, oh, they looked at you. Maybe they, maybe they thought your um, idea was crazy or thought it was a joke. Maybe they thought you had a dirty job and that you weren't getting paid enough or you weren't flashy enough or you didn't have flashy enough clothes. Whatever it was, this person underestimated you greatly, greatly. But I feel like you, the divine lifted you up. Um, and during this time of separation, and you've been in isolation possibly too, that's what I'm picking up on, um, you've, you put in the work. You were able to focus on yourself. And now you're very, very abundant. You flipped into an empress, a pre-empress. Yeah, you're a visionary. These visionaries are at the forefront of a spiritual battle. Okay, so I'm really getting that you are a true light worker out here, a chosen one, you know, to help enlighten other people, to help lead them through heartbreaking situations, okay, to um, spread the word of everything that you've learned and all that you know about spirituality. You're a visionary, so I feel like, um, you know, this is the visions that you get. This is seeing into the future, using that intuition, knowing what's coming for people, okay? Good and bad. 
I feel like you had a creative pro uh, idea that was a vision. You know what I mean? And you, you, here comes that s street sweeper again. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, collective. It'll, it'll go by. It'll pass. Eagles up close, really, really close. There's, and there's people that are hating on you at the same time, and you persevered through it all because you're a warrior. You know, you're at, like I said, you're at the, these visionaries, these light workers are at the forefront of a spiritual battle that makes you a light worker. And you know what? There's evil out there. Um, the devil will use other people to try to go against you. Okay, I feel like you've had nothing but, like, hate shot at you. Well, I don't want to say nothing but, because you've got a lot of, of followers as well. You've got a lot of people who, who are loving what you're doing and seeing your skill. But that's why people are hating on you, too. Because you are becoming abundant. Because people are hearing the messages. Because you are reaching other people. And you're creating something massive here. So you, you do have other people hating on you, sending you bad juju, you know, wanting to see your future smashed to pieces, but you're way too powerful for these people. You are a light worker, a true light worker here. That's who I'm talking to. You know, not only are you a powerful divine being, but you also have the power of the divine backing you because you're spiritually led. Okay. Seeking strength and shedding mass. You know what? And the, the people who are following your messages and learning from you, uh, the ones that you're actually inspiring, okay, you're helping these people find the strength to, um, to get rid of past burdens that are holding them down so that they can move forward. Okay, out of heartache and betrayal. This is what you're supposed to be doing is inspiring people. You know, helping people to get rid of the burdens and um, replacing those burdens with inspiration. Okay, and hope. You do a, you're, you have a very important job here and I feel like everybody can see it now. Remember, they've been studying you. They know. And I feel like now that, yeah, and it's your energy, man. See, raising vibrations. Didn't I mention that? You're out here raising vibrations and inspiring other people, okay? It's your energy. And it's like people can't seem to get enough of it. And I feel like your, your future, whatever business these, that this is, however you're making your money, it's going to skyrocket, okay? It's just going to take off very quickly. Um, inspired and prepared for their journey. You're, get, you're, you're getting people inspired. You're raising their vibrations. They're inspired and getting prepared for something new. You're helping them to shed the mass of all of the burdens that they carry from past heartache and betrayal. Like you're a leader. You're a fearless leader for the people who have been betrayed and hurt just like you. And you're leading them through that heartache, through their healing, and to the other side, the light at the end of the tunnel, so that they can start a new life. You're a healer, an empath, a light worker, a divine being. You know? And I feel like that takes precedence over anybody who wants to come back into your life. So this is what you're committed to, really, truly. You know, and I had that same vision in my head. If my person were to come back to me now, I would tell them I'm already committed. I'm committed to my mission and my purpose, and nothing's going to come in between that. And I feel like that's how you feel too, okay? Like, I, yeah, the night. What is that about? I feel like people are kind of fearful of you. Oh, yeah. And you have unlimited opportunities coming to you as well. Things that you don't see coming towards you. 
okay? Sometimes in the middle of the night, that's when you do your best creative work. In the middle of the night, you seem to have, for someone here, you've got like unlimited energy, okay? And this is when you do a lot of your creating. I feel like you, you have a weird schedule. Maybe some of you work a little during the day and some of you work a little during the night. You know, if you're a light worker, the divine will wake you up at all hours of the night to put out a message, you know. I know as a tarot card reader, that happens to me a lot. You know, when they tell me to rest, I rest. When they, they tell me to, hey, they nudge me, get up. We've got you. We, you need to deliver a message. I get up and deliver the message. I feel like you work very much the same way. Maybe that's why this person is having, a, this person from your past, they're having a hard time figuring out when they can come back in. You know, maybe, uh, maybe you, they see you working all the time. They don't know what your schedule is because it could be constantly changing you know especially if you have your own business you're making your own schedule but it's not really a schedule like i feel like you get up and you ask the divine what do i do next you know they make your schedule you're just really going with the flow but you're committed to that that's what you're committed to nothing is impossible um, to a willing heart. Yeah, as long as you're surrendering to what the divine wants you to do, um, seriously, every, there's nothing that's impossible for you. Your future is limitless. As long as you allow the, the divine to lead you so that you can continue to lead others, okay? It's, it's, you're working together as a close-knit team, you and the divine. Your spirit guides, angels, archangels, your ancestors, God, Jesus, okay, your higher self. Ooh, some of you are about to get somebody new coming in, and I feel like this new person is to help you, um, to help you go further in the future, okay? So you are going to have somebody sent to you for some kind of support, like just to help with this endeavor, I feel like, yeah, because you've had nothing but faith, I, I feel like, um, yeah, you've got somebody new coming in to help you with this. Maybe uh, you're growing so fast in your business or it's about to grow really fast that maybe you need some assistance here, some support. Because so far you've been going it alone. I see you single and working on this stuff alone. And the divine is like, look, it's about to get much bigger, okay? Because there's lots of people out there that are going to need this inspiration. Um, so, yeah, your mission is about to change a little bit. It's about to get much more active. Um, so spirit is sending you somebody who's going to help with everything. It could, be a, it could be a love. It could be just a friend, okay? Take it how it resonates with you. Yeah, look, because your mission, I cannot make it up. Because your mission is about to get bigger. Okay? It's about to get bigger. You see? Look, here's your vision here. Look at the change in the in the type. Even the even the font is is bigger. The type is bigger. So, yeah, um, you're about to grow and expand really quickly. Hold on, I just knocked something off of the table and I can't find it. Okay, here it is. You're about to grow very quickly at a very rapid rate, okay? Um, as far as your money, your business, the mission, the people, everybody is going to start flocking to you. So if, if you're selling some kind of product, right, um, that you've been making on your own, everybody's going to want it, okay? If you're um, an inspirational speaker out here, right, you're going to get a lot of subscribers, like, booming. 
um, if you're like making exercise videos and focusing on people's wellness, everybody's going to want to buy your videos or watch your videos. Okay, so whatever it is that you're working on, it doesn't have to be huge. You could be, I get bread makers a lot here, right? So someone who's who works in a bakery or has your own bakery, man, people are going to go to that bread like every day they're going to want loaves of bread. Okay, um, because it makes people feel good. Anything that's raising their vibrations and helping them move through um, heartache and betrayal. Do you know, I mean, when you get hurt or you get sick, you can go to a doctor, right? But when you're truly heartbroken, truly, truly heartbroken and no one seems to understand, you know, um, you're the kind of person that they would go to not just to raise their vibrations and make them feel better momentarily, but to heal them so that they can move on with the rest of their Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> I had no idea how long this video was. Um, yeah, do you know how important it is what you do? You know, you fix broken hearts, baby, I'm your handyman. Who does that? James Taylor. Um, yeah, the song I'm getting for this reading is Handyman. You fix broken hearts. I know, but you truly can. That's what he says. And it's true. It's all true. Because this is what you were born to flipping do. Each and every lifetime. As a light worker, you just are a light worker. You come from the divine, right? So I feel like um, you are divine. You are a divine being. And this is the lifetime here where everything is exposed to you and everyone else, okay? This is that shift, right? And you really are out here healing broken hearts. You're a true blessing here on this earth. Yeah, so anyway, the divine is about to send you someone because your mission is about to get so much bigger. It's about to grow so much faster. And they know that you're going to need that help. Okay, because you walk in faith. You're allowing them to lead you. They're going to bring you help here on the 3D. Yeah, you're because this is your purpose and mission. But now it's our, right? So I feel like you are getting someone who is going to continue this mission with you. All right? I cannot make this stuff up. Characters, motives. Um, I feel like anyone who comes towards you right now, number one, use your intuition. Look at all of this purple. You're going to have to use your intuition and your discernment because not everyone who comes towards you has good intentions okay some people like the evil out there the devil wants to see you fall the devil doesn't want the light workers to succeed okay so the devil will use other people to try to take you down and take you out and I feel like you need to be careful you're gonna um, yeah just focus and use that skill of your intuition okay um, trust your intuition because they are sending you someone new um, to help you on your mission in the future. But there's a lot of people that are going to want a place at your side that don't deserve to be there. Okay? That may stab you in the back. That have hidden motives. So use your intuition. Not everyone can come with you in this new part of your mission, in this new journey. Okay? They can't come with you where you're going. Only this one right here. And I feel like you will know. The rest of them need to stay behind the line. Okay? Um, there's going to be people that have crossed a line with you that are still going to come in and try to use you. Okay? Or bring you down. And I feel like they are crossing a, a very thin line. And the divine is going to deliver them some karma for that. Anybody who comes towards you to try to stop, see this keeps um, sticking to my, my sweater. <laughs> your pur purpose and your mission is here to stick. They cannot, um, they can't take it away. They can't ruin it. 
it's here to stay okay so anybody with any motives to use you or bring you down they're crossing that line and the divine is going to give them a tower i feel a, a spirits watching all of this i feel like the everybody's under judgment right now i'm watching what people are doing to you yeah you know um hold on give me one more on this because i feel like you're the warrior here you're the warrior with all this intuition like a ninja yeah don't hate the warrior don't shoot the messenger don't you know the hate has to stop because you're a warrior for the divine i'm also feeling like people have wanted to fight with you it just feels like they want to stir up a lot of drama and chaos and they can't you're the warrior or the and the winner you're the warrior and the winner so i feel like you're having this victory whether people like it or not you know the haters are going to hate and some of the some of your haters and enemies are only being used by by the devil because you're a light worker you see what i'm saying and and the devil doesn't want the light workers to succeed because the light workers create change and they, they, they give people a positive vibe to the point where toxicity can't get, can't get in. Um, so basically negativity is being pretty much vanquished. Okay. So yeah, there's people that want to come and they want to possibly fight with you. They want to try to stop you. They're coming in trying to use you. Jeez, my phone is blowing up. They're trying to use you, maybe distract you from what it is that you're, that you're supposed to be doing. Because have you noticed all the distractions in this reading? Just keep going. Just keep going and do not stop. You know, focus, focus on your path. Focus on your mission, right? And your purpose. Listen to the divine and keep going. Um, whoever's trying to do this to you, I'm telling you, the divine is going to bring them down. They're crossing a very thin line. Yeah, because you know what? You have hidden knowledge. You have things that other people need to know. And you're being divinely led with a four. And you're intuitive with the purple. This is a high priestess, um, maybe a, even an ascended master. Um, I feel like you are definitely divinely led. You're committed to your path. This is your, your mission and your purpose is protected. Um, and um, it's all because you, you are the visionary at the, front, at the forefront, the front line of this spiritual battle. Okay? Spirit needs you. Um, and so does so does the rest of the world and so that's your place in this in this journey this is this is who you are is a very important light worker and i'm telling you all of these people who are hating on you they're being warned stop it you're crossing a line and these people are going to be um, taken down by a tower the divine is not going to allow anyone to stop the light workers from doing what they're supposed to be doing okay anyway collective listen that's what i've got for this reading i do hope this helps i hope it resonates with you like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe let me know what you think of the moon box readings right i love them personally but um anyway until next time my darlings take care of you and peace out